Hello everyone, it's been a while since I made a Starfield video. I mean, I got a little bit busy with Dragon's Dogma 2, so I thought I'd make a video showcasing all my ship builds. Well, almost all of them. Some of my ship builds I built on top of them, so those are gone, gone. And the idea is to hopefully have a design for everyone. One that inspires you to build something similar, or if you just want to directly copy, duplicate, you can do that as well. For every ship that I'm going to show you today, there's going to be a link to their individual videos where I break down what the parts are and how to put them together so that you can go see those. But I do want to warn you that some of my earlier videos, they're not that well made. So keep that in mind. I'm going to start by showing you the ships in chronological order. So we're going to start with the first one and it's this one. This is my second build. I wanted to build something like the Millennium Falcon and this is what came out. Yeah, no, it doesn't look good. If we look back at this now, it's just kind of, you know, it's not that great. It's, uh, it's, we can maybe generously call it inspired by the Millennium Falcon, but you know, I mean, yeah, it's not that, it's not, it's not, it's not that great. Uh, the stats are pretty bad as well, I think. They were not good. I mean, fuel only 100, hull only like 681, and uh, cargo capacity was good. I actually put 1665. So yeah, this was one of my very early ship designs. I believe it is my second one, my second build. There you have it. Let's move on to the second one. This is another ship that I was trying to imitate, a famous ship. I was trying to do the bat wings, and uh, this is what came out. It looks a little bit more like a Lego bat wing than you know the something that you see in the cartoons. And also, it was a it was a good try. I think this was my third or fourth try at shipbuilding, and uh, it only looks good from kind of this angle at the top. It's not bad. By the way, these two ships, I sold them. So we're looking at it from the buy menu, which is why I cannot zoom in and zoom out. Uh, it's just these two. The rest of the eight ships uh, are all ships that are mine. So I have a video on this one as well. It, it's not a very good video. Uh, honestly, just don't, don't go watch it. And uh, this was my attempt at doing a bat wing. And uh, I've seen people actually building uh, the back wing, doing a better job, like, you know, closer that looks better. So this one, uh, yeah, is uh, it might be the engines too high or something, but, uh, but yeah, so he, this is, this is another ship. The stats are also not particularly good. I think they are pretty low, the, the stats. Hull is only 875, so not, not that great. And um, yeah, so there you have it. All right, so let's move on to the next one. We have the razor leaf. So I did, I did quite a few things to this one. This might be controversial to some of you, but I ended up turning the razor leaf into a cargo ship. So it has 23,910 cargo capacity. And the reason why I did that is that I thought, you know, the razor leaf most of the time, or at least half of the time, at least for me, when you encounter enemy ships, they just go away. You know, they don't fight you. So I thought it was a great feature to have on a slow ship, you know, on a, on a cargo hauler, uh, but still trying to make it look slick. So I ended up doing this. I I think it was a it was a good idea. I think it, it wasn't a bad idea. And so here it is. Uh, let me go into the build menu. So here it is. And uh, and yeah, it is slow. As you can see, mobility is only twenty seven. So that's like really 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 low. But everything else is actually not bad. The hull, the shield, max crew, jump range twenty six is respectable. But uh. But this is, you know, a, a, a slow ship. It's a nice design, I think. I do like this design. For those of you who want to turn this into maybe a fighter ship, you just have to replace 
the cargo blocks into either hubs or just structures. And, uh, and uh, yeah, so this became the cargo leaf instead of the razor leaf. Next up, I think this is what, ship number four. I have the Star Eagle. It was also my second ship that I got in the game. The first one being the Razor Leaf. And now this uh, this one, I decided to kind of turn it into a fighter ship. So let's take a look at some of the stats. I changed the engines to the one that gives you 180 top speed. The mobility is 90. I didn't want the cargo to go too low. But this is a very, very fast ship and the weapons are pretty good too as well. Like I think I put in uh, pretty decent missile launchers and uh, weapons and things like that. Now they are decent, they are not the best, but, but they are good. And uh, it looks, you know, it looks different from the original. Um, a few things remain, the cockpit, the wings, you know, but I, I changed the type of wings. I do like this one, uh, sleeker. This is the original Star Eagle with modifications and it became this. Now the next ship and this one is probably quite popular, one of the popular videos. And I decided to do a Star Eagle 2.0 version. So this is basically a beefed up Star Eagle following the design language of the one from the game. So you know the wings and all that stuff but putting all the best parts in it. So we have quite a lot of cargo. I think cargo could go a little lower and then increase the jump range and then maybe increase the mobility as well. But you know, if you need cargo space, then there is plenty of that in here. We went with very expensive engines, the South 6830. And one thing that I did in this ship is that I made it with no ladders. So this one ended up no ladders. So it's a straight shot from the first level. All the important things like workshops, things like that are all on the first floor. And then you go up using the stairs in the cockpit. So this is a no ladder ship. And uh, it then turned out to be a pretty, pretty decent one. Now the next ship, and I think I lost count. I, I forgot what number we are at now. Uh, is the Kepler R. This is the third ship that I got in the game. And I actually went through different variations of the Kepler R. Probably two or three variations. This is the last one. And I ended up turning the Kepler R into this kind of uh, a stormtrooper type of type of vibe. It was inspired by the transport shuttle in the animated series, The Bad Batch, where it kind of has that wing that slopes down and faces forward. So, so this is what this was. And uh, I tried to kind of, you know, generously call it kind of inspired by that. And it is, however, a very decent spec ship. Like we have good hull, good shields, cargoes, even 6,000, which is pretty respectable, crew 11. So the, the specs are really good on this ship. And uh, something different, a different color. I wanted something white as well. And uh, it turned out to be this way. It's not bad. I mean, this is probably the best angle looking at the ship. But all the other angles are decent. Like I said, from the side is decent, it's not bad. From the back is okay. I'm not particularly happy about the look from the back. But, you know, this is what the Kepler R is. Uh, very different. So, here it is. Now, the next ship is this one. I think I built this one about the same time after I built the Star Eagle 2.0. And I wanted to do another ship. Uh, with a different cockpit because I've been using the Nova Galactic copy a little too often so I wanted to try this one uh, because I do like the interior of this cockpit and I thought about doing another ship with everything in it and it turned out to be this one the, I, I called it the Starship so again using these engines but in this case I put two in the front I didn't want all the ones at the back just to give it a different look 
and it does have quite a few levels so the one negative of this is that it has too many layers I uh, saw so, so you do have a lot of ladders I think like two or three ladders in there um, one too many for my taste but it is a, it is a very decent and powerful ship I did put some port holes at the top just so that the ladder when you go up you can kind of see the skylight and um, yeah decent looking something different so that it's not always using the Nova Galactic Cabot bridge and this is this is the one so all right let's move on so next I have this ship because I turned the razor leaf into a cargo ship I thought about doing something that is kind of similar to the razor leaf but a little bit more aggressive on the specs and things like that so I did this one and I call this one the Raptor. This ship is 180 top speed and still maintaining 100 mobility with a 30 jump range. And the only thing that suffers here is cargo space is just a measly 200. But I wanted a ship just for fighting and this is the one. This is the one. It kind of has that slick look. I'm not very fond of the color that I gave this ship. But the design is pretty, pretty decent. It has the look of a fast ship. And uh, this was because, you know, the razor leaf. The weapons are decent. I gave it quite decent weapons. All C class, I think, weapons. And uh, all long range weapons. So, yeah. This is an interesting build. Uh, mostly just kind of for fun, just for destroying ships and things like that. And we are almost at the end. This ship here is the Frontier. I built this ship concurrently with the next ship. From what I was learning from one ship, I cannot apply to the other one. And this is uh, from the original Frontier. It is the one that I mostly use because it kind of has a little bit of everything. This one is a different design. And uh, I put all these six engines at the back, but I kind of put them in different angles, different offset, just to kind of make it, you know, a little bit look more interesting. And uh, yeah, originally I had two of the engines at the front behind here, but a lot of comments talked about how they shouldn't be there. So I changed it and, you know, I removed them to the back and then I made this. The front became kind of this hammer neck looking thing. It is pretty powerful. The stats are pretty high as you can see. Maxed out and good weapons as well. I like this one quite a lot. So I use it as my home ship. Now the next one that I'm going to show you guys is actually the most popular one. So let's go there. So this one I called it beyond kind of because I built it concurrently with the uh, frontier so the two ships becomes beyond frontier I don't know it's kind of dumb but uh, whatever it's just a name game in my head this is one of my most popular ship build videos as well the good thing about this one is I also made it with no ladders absolutely zero ladders you go from one level to the other one through the cockpit and it is a uh, much Nicer, sleeker uh, design, maybe, uh, depending on how you see it, compared to the Frontier. So all the engines are at the back, but slightly offset. Uh, so they look a little bit different. I do like it. It's not, it's not bad. It's actually pretty nice. And it's a very kind of simple yet clean design. Uh, no matter where you look at it, it doesn't look too, too off. So it's not too tall, you know. Uh, it's not too wide. I mean, it is pretty wide, but somehow it doesn't feel like that is very wide. Uh, very powerful, very high stats, again, just like before. And what I like about this one is that even the mass is uh, even 4,000. So all the numbers are very even, 
very perfect. I mean, this ship is, I called it uh, the perfect no ladder ship. And uh, mostly because, you know, all the numbers, all even 1600, 5000, 12, 30, 100, 130, 4000. I mean, it doesn't get as even as that. I just wish I could somehow round the hull number as well. And we're in business. But, uh, but this is, this is a very popular video, very popular design. Um, so again, if you like any of these ship builds, then you can follow the link below in the description for their individual videos. Um, but yeah, so I don't want to spend too much on this video. So I just want to make this video kind of like a, a quick overview of all the ships. I think I showed 10 of those and hopefully, you know, there is one for everyone that inspires you or makes you want to, I don't know copy, duplicate, anything like that, it's all good. So yeah, uh, let me know which one you prefer, you know, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or things like that. Uh, otherwise, I love you all, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.